Cześć, witam Cię bardzo serdecznie w kolejnym odcineczku z Starfielda. Zostaw kciuka, subskrypcję, dzwoneczek. Kontynuujemy naszą przygodę poprzedniego odcinka. Pójdźmy zobaczyć, co tam się dzieje. W takim razie u naszego znajomego. Bo oczywiście robimy dalej kłaścika. Moment. Porozmawiam z Janikiem. No, no to czemu mnie tu prowadzi? Aha, chyba że on tam gdzieś jest teraz. Chyba, że mam wybrane... Teraz chyba mam wszystkie wybrane, nie? No właśnie. Teraz miałem, przypomniałem wszystkie wybrane cele misji, które są dostępne i dlatego mnie tak wzięło, wyprowadziło. Teraz powinni mnie zatrzymać, nie? Mimo tego, że 5 sekund temu stąd wychodziłem, nie? Dobra. Zacząłem tu odcinek przed chwilą, nie? Wiem, że nie muszę nosić tu hełmu, tylko problem jest taki, że za cholerę nie mam pojęcia, jak mam go wziąć i dezaktywować, moja droga przyjaciółko. Dobra, już wiem. Zapomniałem, że jak moja postać wygląda. I mean, yes, he is, but... Ah. Our profits go down, yes, but we don't have to worry about being caught anymore. So, business as usual, yes? You do a shift at Xenofresh and your contact tells you where to pick up Aurora. You go there, make an easy and very safe pickup, and deliver it to me. No time pressure, any time you want. Take a break if you like. Do you want to ask him? But if I had to guess, he probably doesn't want to muddy his reputation with us. And if anything goes wrong, total deniability. You are the best thing that ever happened to Yannick. Well, maybe my firstborn. Ah, who am I kidding? It's you! Ah, oh, we're seriously going to help this moron out again? What on earth for? Time for work then. Um, it was Riley. Yes, 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 Riley. No co jeszcze raz mu mogę dostarczyć trochę? Czemu nie? Ale ostatni raz. Zobaczymy w sumie ile mi da expo za to. Zobaczymy ile za to expa dostaniemy i będziemy wtedy wiedzieli, czy się to opłaca nam, czy nie. Ciekawe jestem, gdzie ta fauna jest na tej planecie. Można gdzie indziej wylądować? Nie, no tu nie ma innej opcji lądowania. Hmm. 
Ciekawe. Tran i halucynogen, dobra. To też jest dobry, dobry sposób na zarabianie szybko kredytów, nie? Dobra, tran, halucynogen i symulant. Znaczy stymulant. Stymulant XD. I w kolejnej będę potrzebował tran i halucynogen. Can this wait? Nice to see you again. Oh no, I happened to transmit some coordinates to you. My bad. I wonder what's over there. What are you talking about? Let's keep this relationship simple. Up for doing this again. Bye. Mm -hmm. Znajdź skrytkę. Panie strażniku, nic, nic, ja tu nic nie robię nielegalnego. Nie tu kurwa jest jakaś fauna. Dobra, ale ja aurory nie noszę przy sobie teraz. No nie, ona została wytworzona po prostu. Hey buddy, why don't you throw a few credits my way, huh? Help a guy out, yeah? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh shit, no, he told me he took care of it. He told me no one would know. Listen, you gotta hear me out. I never meant to do anything, it was an accident. Why else? I needed some creds for Aurora, and everyone knows he and his wife run that shitty little shop. All they do is rip people off. He was bound to have creds. I got in a fight with Thomas. I asked him for some creds, but the bastard wouldn't give me anything. Things got out of hand. He ended up falling off the upper platform. It was an accident, I swear. 
And then I... I called my buddy in security and told him what happened. He took care of everything after that. Hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm... I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a rat. Listen, I messed up, I know that. But nothing can change what's already done. Just let me go and I'll disappear forever. No one will ever see me again. No one even needs to know I'm alive. Just... Come on, just let me go. No, I... I can't let that happen. Why couldn't you just let me go? No, you do. Bo się sam na patoczu, nie? Bo się sam po prostu wziął i na patoczył. A tu pusto się zrobiło. Distractions in neon, so I expect you to be on your best behavior you here. Like you'll, you'll keep this up, and we will both be living large. <laughs> Możesz teraz wytwarzać aurorę korzystając z odpowiednich składników. Możesz przeczytać i śledzić przepisy oraz produkowane na dowolnym stanowisku w formacji zbytnicznym. OK. Dobra. Nie you muszę mieć nich. Dobra. Hmm. Szukam tego questa, co przed chwilą mi się od... Zrobił w sensie... O, jest, dobra. Hmm. Chciałem go zaznaczyć. O, dobra. Dobra, i gdzie teraz? Tu gdzieś. Się raz i na patoczy akurat jak przechodziliśmy. Super. Bym musiał go szukać, a tak to się sam znalazł. Okej. Okay. No bo tam na dół. Ale tu już chyba nie ma żadnych innych questów, jeśli chodzi o... Neon. Będziemy mogli zaraz polecieć gdzieś do kolejnego... Miejsca. Can I? I'm afraid I'm not in the best of spirits. Please, tell me everything you know. I want to hear it all. I knew it. I just knew that I was being fed lies. Nothing added up right from the start. Neon security. How can they sleep at night and act like my husband's life wasn't worth anything? My husband's killer. Did you find him? What happened to him? Rusty. I believe he was one of the Jennerdine workers that would come around and cause trouble. Steal things, vandalize, or the like. They were a rowdy bunch. My husband usually handled the troublemakers and became well acquainted with Rusty and his so-called friends. Vandalism and shoplifting is one thing, but murder? 
I just never thought things could go this far. So, what did you do with Rusty? Good. And good riddance to him, too. An eye for an eye, and all that. I'm not the type to wish death upon anyone, but he deserved worse for what he did to my Thomas. And about security. Did you find out which officer is behind the cover-up? It's for the best, I suppose. Going after security is suicide for us both. Knowing the truth is vindication enough. In a weird way, I'm... relieved? No, that's not the right word. I guess I'm just glad that I know the truth, even if it won't bring my husband back to me. I never would have figured out the truth without you. I have credits for you here. Oh, you're so sweet. In any case, please know how grateful I am that you helped me. You're the only person to ever show kindness to me in this city. And now that I know the truth, I can try to focus on healing. Thank you for everything, from both myself and Thomas. No problem. Kasy nie biorę, bo i tak mam już... 130 tysięcy, więc... Jaki by miało to sens, nie? Dobra. Okej, okay, no mamy trochę tych kłaścików, więc się rozejrzyjmy, co byśmy tu mogli znaleźć. I zrobić w sumie. Dobra, zobaczmy, gdzie to jest na mapie. Aha. No, ta. <śmiech> Może to odpuśćmy. O, już byłem. Więc lećmy. To musimy przeskoczyć dwa razy. No i cyk. Dobra. Jesteśmy na Marsie. W ogóle, że ludzie osiedlili Marsa, a mając Atlantydę Nową, nie, nie mieszkają tam wszyscy, nie? Żeby mogli sobie wziąć i normalnie żyć i mieszkać. Finding's fair work, but you can't take it all so seriously. I always tell my mates, we're pulling rocks out of the ground, not building spaceships. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Hmm. Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult-to-gather resources so we can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is. Probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous, if you don't know what you're doing.
Oh, come on, mate. It's perfectly safe. We're miles away, so all we get is a little jiggle now and again. Just make sure to hold the railing when going downstairs and you'll be fine. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Eh, not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. Uh, do yourself a favor and get to know some of the miners. It'll remind you what you're doing this for. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off track. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Yeah, don't you think I want to? Corporate sets the contracts and they're not giving out anymore, so we work with what we've got. Something to do with insurance, benefits, and uh, other liabilities. So I don't make the rules. Of course not. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I care about my miners. Even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles down here. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help. That's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits to buy all the equipment myself, I would. But this is the next best thing. A nie mogę po prostu ci dać tych kredytów zamiast pracować, ja że mi się nie chce pracować. Jestem człowiekiem sukcesu, a nie kurwa pracy. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. To avoid injury. In order to avoid injury, please report any spills or unsafe conditions on the upper level to the Sedonia Department of Public Works. Żelazo 0 na 10, to. I can't imagine being stuck oh, down here gathering Vigo. rocks for a living when there's an entire universe to explore. Whoa, whoa! What the hell are you trying at? Tyle ciekawe, nie? Że jest zero na cztery mam. W zasobach, mimo tego, że je zbieram. Aha, bo żelazo jest, ale to nie jest ten zasób, z których ten jakby jest do questa, nie? Long showers and other water use to 
your part to preserve our precious resources. Thank you from the Sidonia Department of Public Works. Okay. I can see you, Siri. Great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our Director of Mining Operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment. And unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. Got that industrial court know-how, do you? Then, you know how this is all gonna go down. Go to the Deimos office in orbit, apply for the job, answer some questions about kissing the boss's ass. It's mostly BS, but it's gotta be done. Doesn't matter what you say, as long as you don't say anything too bonkers. We'll talk about how to secure the job after you get that application squared away. You're jumping through a lot of hoops to get those miners the equipment that they need. No, dobra. Gdzie on jest? No mi pokazuje, że mam stąd wyjść. Tak, czekaj, czekaj, czekaj. Coś mi tu nie gra, ale nie wiem co jeszcze. Okej. Demo Star Yard offers competitive options for private buyers. Please dock to see our sales representative. Dobra. Się nauczyłem do kowanka przy takich miejscówach. Cześć, cześć. Ty chyba byłem już, nie? Nie byłem tu. Damon. W biurze pojawił się VIP, który ma się spotkać z kierownikiem. Kierownik z jakiegoś powodu się spóźnia. Co robisz? Masz klienta, przenosisz spotkanie klienta z kierownikiem na inną. Oferujesz coś do picia, przepraszam, że zapominasz. Nic nigdy nie rozmawiasz z klientem bez zgody kierownika. Nie no, cyk. Z powodu awarii kierownik nie może odpalić statku kosmicznego, a wkrótce musi udać się na wyższe spotkanie. Poza plecą, co robisz? Yy, statek, kontaktujesz, używasz kredytów. Podczas zajmowania się e-mailem kierownika zauważyłeś wiadomość od kogoś, kto twierdzi, że ma niewygodne informacje na jego temat. Co robisz? Yy, całkowicie ignorujesz mail, blokujesz nadawcę, doprowadzasz do konfrontacji, pytasz kierownika, jak chce to załatwić, a następnie nigdy więcej do tego nie wracasz. Kierownik kontaktuje się z tobą i prosi o spotkanie w jego biurze w środku nocy. Słyszysz, że jest pijany. Co robisz? Natychmiast idziesz, ignorujesz, pozwalasz jej zająć się sprawą, idziesz i robisz to, czego chce, nawet jeśli obejdzie się to... Przeszkadza od niego samego. No dobra, dawać mi tą robotę. O, no bo pewnie muszę już lecieć tam do tego miejsca, nie? Przeworem ustal kurs. No właśnie. 
po co mam się męczyć, jak mogę się przeteleportować od razu. I będziemy sobie kontynuować w kolejnym odcinku. Na teraz to tyle. Dzięki serdeczne za oglądanie. Zostaw kciuka, subskrypcję, dzwoneczek. Wbiję do linku w opisie imię. Popołudnia. Cześć.